Okay, so si Pacquiao nanghihingi ng uh, 40 million US dollars. Uh, si Chupimo Lopez nagdedemand din ng pera at uh, ilan lang yan sa mga boksingero ngayon na uh, nagdedemand ng uh, malalaking halaga at malaking pera para sila ay lumaban. Ano bang nangyayari sa boxing natin ngayon? Maganda ba ito? Hindi, actually. Um, marami nagsasabi na nangyari daw lang ito dahil daw do- nagsimula kay Floyd Mayweather na kumaga eh, siya yung nagdemand ng uh, ganitong kalagang pera and uh, yung malaking uh, parte ng pera daw napupunta sa kanya kaya nagkaganito ang mundo ng boxing. Ano ba ang reaction niyo dito? Ano ba ang reaction ko dito? Maganda ba ito o pangit? At uh, ano bang asahan natin sa boxing moving forward dahil dito sa mga ganito na mga boxing fights na hindi mangyari-yari dahil sa pera? Podcast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. <coughs> okay. So, isa na naman boxing reaction commentary ang ating uh, pag-uusapan ngayon. At uh, isa sa mainit na topic ngayon ay, uh, of course, yung uh, nararating na laban ni Manny Pacquiao na hanggang ngayon ay uh, wala pang final, no? Maraming uh, mga lumalabas na balita na tungkol dito sa laban na ito. Ryan Garcia, just lately, naglabas na naman siya na hindi daw siya lalaban sa boxing at uh, parang uh, may negotiation pa rin daw uh, kay Manny Pacquiao at uh, gusto daw niya makalaman either Pacquiao lang or uh, Jervon to think Tank Davis. Hindi ko lang alam kung kakalabahan ni pa siya na Davis ano? dahil uh, kumbaga nabastos ang si Davis sa kanya eh. Anyway, um, sinegway ko lang dyan. Ah, by the way, Manny Pacquiao nagpost ng kanyang uh, training session. Uh, I think the light jogging and then uh, shadow boxing ang nakita natin. Tapos, uh, Chufimo Lopez demanding sa money as well at uh, iiwanan daw niya si Tebabarong pag hindi siya binigyan ng uh, ganun pera. Bakit ba nang gahagan ito mga boksingero ngayon? Uh, at uh, dapat ba ito? Um, uulitin ko po muna ha. Uh, ito po ang topic natin ay uh, commentary opinion lang po tungkol po dito sa mga nangyayari sa boxing lalo na sa high level. Uh, yung mga boksingero na medyo low level um, syempre minsan uh, well, kadalasan, wala pa talaga silang karapatan na mag ng pera, no? At ang mas malaking pera. At uh, ang uh, pinag-uusapan natin dito, yung mga level ni Pacquiao, yung mga world champions sa Amerika na mga sikat. Pero Ryan Garcia, why is he demanding? Why is he uh, getting paid? Medyo, medyo nag-tilt ng konti kasi kung uh, paano ba napupunta yung pera in terms of, in, in terms of sa boxing era, kung magaling o hindi or kung champion. Uh, inuulit-ulit ko, minsan um, Ryan Garcia gets paid more than a, a world champion because he's popular because that's where the money is coming from. Okay? So, depende rin sa boksingero yan. At uh, alam natin, karamihan, marami ng boksingero ngayon, they know how to promote themselves uh, and uh, they really demand uh, a good share of money. And uh, we all know in the past, there, there has been issue with uh, you know, um, managers, promoter taking advantage of boxers. I think Manny Pacquiao had uh, that issue before as well from the news. Um, and uh, the boxers are getting the, the smaller share of the pie. Kumbaga, mas maliit yung kinikita ng boxer. Pero sila yung lumalaban sa loob. Now, from what I'm seeing, um, and, and because of the, the, the developments of social media that uh, the boxers, the athletes can now talk, you know, and uh, sila yung mas uh, pinaparod ng tao, a lot of things are being revealed. And uh, uh, sabi nga nila, credit to Floyd Mayweather because of that. Uh, now boxers know how to promote themselves, uh, how to, to to demand money. That's because that's what's happening. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? You know, I, I think for the boxers, um, you know, that I think they benefited because the, the power uh, somehow to negotiate and to to do to make things happen was tilted in their favor. However, um, well, we all know motivation of a lot of uh, boxers uh, aside from winning a fight is money. It's a big motivation. However, ang major setback nito, ang negative nito is a lot of boxers these days are de- demanding for large amount of money, which I don't know if can be provided by the promoter or not. Uh, and, and sometimes, hindi nangyayari yung laban dahil dito, nagkakaiwasan na nga dahil sa ayaw maglabanan. 
dahil nagkakaiwasan pa dahil sa sa pera o hindi pa nagkakasundo dahil sa pera. There's a lot of the lot of um, boxing fights that could have happened if uh, yung manager yung promoter may full control because um, you know again uh, again this is just an opinion if the manager promoters wanted to have a fight um, they're in control before much more likely before but now it's kind of a different story because um, if before you mga boxers the boxers they're they're contented with this amount of money the, this percentage it's it's a little bit different right now in the high level boxing again high level boxing eh? uh ngayon medyo you know people are demanding but iba pa rin yung demand ngayon medyo malaki na eh, no and now pacquiao is demanding 40 million us dollars what what do i feel about this do i feel na um may sabi kasi kaya niya ginagawa yan dahil ayaw niya talaga kalabanin si Crawford the same shadow malaki we don't know exactly what's a high uh kumbaga a high demand a low demand or the right demand we don't know that no um we can only base it on what we see on the cover but most people will say 40 million dollars is high because that's the why even his fight against Kitora was just about 10 million US dollars why is it 40 million uh, but we can all argue, but man, Floyd May, I mean, Manny Pacquiao is going to be retiring. It's going to be his last opportunity. He's an eight division world champion. He's a global star. He's a, you know, there's a lot of things uh, you can say in order to, kumbaga, uh, to say that, I mean, he has earned that amount of money and he's going to bring that money to you because he's a global star and you know, people are going to watch. But then again, um sometimes sometimes um what's happening is that you know i think if you're on the level of pacquiao i think you may be you may have the rights uh because anyway it's your the twilight of your career uh but if, if you're a, a young star like uh Tifimo lopez do you have rights well maybe maybe not maybe but then again because of the the power that has been given to the boxers now these days with regards to negotiation and uh, regarding to nagiging publicized masyado yung mga money i think they have the rights uh the only thing that uh fighters should consider however and uh, promoters are being transparent to the kind of earning really that uh you know, can be generated on this one. Because maybe sometimes it's true that that's too high. But so what's the promoters going to be earning if you're asking that much? But uh, that's like asking for a secret. No? So it's difficult because sometimes it, it's business. So you don't really share how much is your capital, how much, uh, how much is your expense. Not all the time you, you share how much revenue you have. Um, so that made it hard. Um, how do you feel about this situation? But I feel that this is going to be ongoing, moving forward. And uh, again, good and bad. Uh, but because of the, the boxers these days, at least the popular ones, has a, a lot of power in, in reference to ne negotiating. Uh, and uh, now it's good for them because the, now um, you know, they, they're, they are very much aware with how much money they're getting. You know, I don't know the exact share right now, but I know still the majority of the money sometimes um, or 50-50 or 60-40, give or take, 70-30 uh, goes to whatever manager, promoter, there's, there's a share. Um, but the, at, at least uh, the fighters now are being listened to and uh, it's a good thing. I think somehow it's a good thing. It's just that sometimes we need to sacrifice if uh, we really wanted to to make a fight, uh, the the promoters then has to be transparent with uh, how much really are, are they earning on this one, and uh, if it really makes sense to to give that amount of money. Uh, so yun lang masasabi ko dito. Gusto ko lang magano kasi, ito na nga dahil sa mga demand ng uh, pera, eh, hindi na tutuloy ngayon ng pera ang uh, laban. I mean, okay? Ano ano ba pakaramdam niyo dito? Pausalud pa ako sports pag uh, Usapan nga natin yan sa comment section, bare. Salamat.